Hi guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. I've recently ordered some parts from China and in this video I am going to show them to you. So I run a 3D printing service and in this service I provide FDM 3D printed parts. For those that don't know that stands for fused deposition modeling. However there are a variety of other 3D printing techniques and these alternative printing processes vary not only in the materials that they use, for example resin or powder, but they also vary in the types of technologies used to create the prints. For example we have stereolography, also selective laser sintering, multi-jet fusion and a variety of others. I wanted to have a look at some of these parts without buying machines which I could not afford uh, and so I thought ordering from China might be a good way to go about it. In this live opening I'm going to see whether the parts I ordered came out well. I chose a clear resin, a white hard resin, and also some parts printed with multi-jet fusion, which uses HP's range of machines. So it's not the most glorious packaging, but I don't see the point in paying for packaging anyway, so would rather it is that way. In this piece here, we have this here. Now this one is meant to be clear resin and as you can see it's, it's came out quite well. Uh, when I spoke to the person who was going to be manufacturing these he said he would have to produce it in two parts and there would be a slit down the middle which you can sort of see. Uh, it's, it's come out reasonably well however there does seem to be some smudges on it and I'm not sure whether the, the post-processing hasn't been done perfectly or whether that will wipe off. It's looking like it won't wipe off to be honest. Uh, so that one's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping it would be you know, fairly consistent throughout. The areas where it's been post-processed well look fantastic um, and I would be very happy with that if it looked like that all the way through. On to the next part. I imagine this will be the multi-jet fusion one yes it is so this is a stepper motor bracket which I designed for a 3d printer that I'm building and it's absolutely flawless really can't see any issues with this print at all you can't tell that it's 3d printed to be honest unless you're familiar with how these parts look they've sort of got a textured effect um, but no, it really is, really is beautiful. It doesn't have the traditional layer lines and I'm putting a fair bit of force on that and it's holding up to it. Very pleased with that one. There's also another one of these. Which looks very similar. Slightly lighter. Uh, I believe the manufacturer said he wanted to send me one that was made using their Chinese alternatives to the HP machines. I imagine it's probably slightly cheaper for them to make it with these. It's not bad, but not quite as good. And the cost difference between the two parts as a consumer, in my opinion, wouldn't be worth opting for the Chinese alternative. I would stick with the HP one. Right, on to the last pieces. We've got the white hard resin. Now you might be familiar with polymer based bearings which are bearings that have no moving parts and it's just a low friction bearing so I decided to try and get some of these printed. These are alternatives to the IGUS bearing and they look absolutely flawless. I can't see any layers. Well I can just about but no they are absolutely beautiful parts. I'm very very pleased with them. Can't see any support removal stubs. So again this is another part for a 3D printer that I'm designing. Um, it's part of the moving head and again the finish is just absolutely flawless. I believe it's 32 micron layers which is about what the eye can see and I really am struggling to see any layers. So if I had to sum up I would say that the white hard resin has come out absolutely flawlessly. The multi-jet fusion parts are again pretty fantastic and the clear resin is pretty good but I'm not overly happy with how it's come out. 
uh, I was expecting better, especially for the price. So that's the parts that I ordered from China and I've shown you how they have come out. As I mentioned, I do run a 3D printing service. So if you are a consumer and would like to order anything, then feel free to do so. I personally produce the FDM prints myself. If you're a business and looking to take your parts to the next level, then you can also get in touch to order any of the materials that I've shown here today and a variety of others that will be going up on my website shortly. If you did enjoy today's video, then please do subscribe, ring the bell so that you're notified of future videos, like, and if you have any comments or questions, then put them below. And yes, I will see you next time.